Huh, not so good news here. Not so good news. I don't know where to start. Not, I not, cannot finish. I mean, this is expected that if, if even here in Jamaica we feel so outraged about what has happened to George Floyd, and you, in, in Minneapolis where it actually happened, you would expect that there would be um, continued riots. Boy, I, I don't haven't know. been able to watch the footage. Me either, Simone. Me either. I know people have watched it. I, I cannot watch someone being murdered. It, it not in me to, to watch. I mean, movies one thing, Cardella, you watch you know, enough so movie acting. with that, but this was so... Yeah. Yes, yes. Horrifying. No, I can't. I to can't. see a police officer mm -mm. who is hired to protect and serve, mm. parking himself in the, in the neck of a, and a handcuffed um, black man who is not resisting. It is hard to think about in 2020 that this is happening. It is, it is hard to think about the frequency with which these kind of incidents have been happening. And as a lot of folks in the States are saying, is now that cell phones have become so ubiquitous that we're able to see a lot of what's going on. But this is stuff that has been happening. Certainly the targeting of, of um, minor, minority communities has been happening for a long time. So you see, a lot of people, and, and, and every time I bring this up, I have to keep saying when we talk about the slavery experience and the remnants of it, and people say, Lord, you guys always go back to slavery. The reality is that the justice system and um, was crafted to keep slaves and black men and women in line. And that there were laws that they just feel don't apply. And their, their rules and regulations, they feel don't apply. And every time something like this happens, this is what, wh why can't we all just get along? Do you remember that, that, yeah. that famous yeah, scene? Yeah, yeah. And Rod, the, the Rodney, 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 Rodney King. King riots and Pilius mashup yeah. and whatever. It's Trayvon Martin. But yeah. at the end of the day, I, and I might be ignorant, but I have not seen or heard any wide scale systemic changes to say, well, now that this has happened, this is what we're going to change in the way people are approached on the street. The matters are dealt with if you do it. Um, Clive was telling me this morning that there was a CNN, and yeah, we were watching yeah. it. CNN a, reporter. A, a, a black CNN reporter. I think he's Latino. He may not Oh, Latino. His name, that so them he's... just, same way, him, 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 he's reporting. And him like him on the same way. They arrested him while he was on air this morning, just now. Um, so there's a wanton, because when, when, you, when, when I am told, and when I read the description of what happened with George Floyd, how can you? in front of people and cameras not stop even one minute and say if i kill this man eight minutes in the are, man's neck eight minutes eight minutes, minutes. Eight minutes. no when, I, I, when do you stop and say okay they're filming me even if you don't have a conscience they're filming me people are seeing me this is wrong well you know, that same officer has about 16 18 violations that he's been written up for so that's what i'm saying um, Sy the system hasn't been changed. If you're an officer and you have five violations, move them to somewhere yeah. where really the only thing where them, are, them can violate paper. Is, a, is, a, is paper and pen and, and a stapler. Yeah. Put them somewhere, because yeah. maybe it, it may even be a mental issue. We don't know. So put them somewhere where they can get a little counseling, a little behavior change. But don't keep sending them back out there to deal with people. And, and see, I'm saying it's over and over again. It's really scary, Dale, It's over and over again. For folks who have... Um, diaspora who have, you know, we have family, we have friends in the States. It's, it is really, it's frightening. Yeah. It yeah. is frightening. I mean, I saw um, Don Lemon talk about this yesterday with such passion. Yeah. And his thing was that black people cannot stop racism. And he was actually saying, asking, he was like, we're asking white people to help us. Because, because we're really, not the offender. We are not the perpetrators, and it has to be the perpetrators who fix the problem. Wow. So it is really a situation. And, the per, I mean, and, and, and listen, as I said, the behavior come from... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and not perpetrators, you know, we're not talking about like people like... Him, um, like the chef, policeman. What the policeman's off. But people who, yeah. you know, people like... Um, 
I'm going to call her Karen because that's what they've been calling her in the park. Mm -hmm. Who, because the gentleman asked her to leash her dog as per the park rules. So I'm going to call the police on you and I'm going to tell them that there's an African American man who's threatening me. And While the did. man was just saying, please leash your dog. Because the rules say, put the leash on your dog. But so she like knows that she can. And she knows that, that was a, it, it was a weapon mm -hmm. that she could readily use. So, so, they're saying, so, so when they're saying um, the black people shouldn't be out there um, protesting and, and you should not be responding this way, somebody else needs to also say, well, white people, you shouldn't be responding like Karen where you feel like, oh, this officer has done this thing. So this, this is a display of the power that we have. Privilege. And the privilege. So say something to me now, and look what I'm going to do. We have to fix it. Because it may not go the way that you want it to yeah. either. Well, We saw the video. <laughs> oh, there's another video that's circulating of, of a lady who tried that with a Jamaican. I think it was yesterday. Very strong language. Please watch cautiously. It didn't end well for her. Because you know Jamaican people that disrespect is a trigger for us. Yeah, you call him a black something or another, he's not going to... It never went well. So, so. Anyway, we just, we it's a terrible just, situation. Yeah, I mean, Jesse Jackson called it a lynching in, in broad, broad daylight. Broad daylight. I mean, you know, at what point do the man says, I can't read, I can't read. When the man stops talking and his body goes limp, even then, in a city, I said, wait, hold on, this man not breathing. Well, do you see the mayor of the state this morning who says he was speaking so he could breathe? So he don't see any problem. He was talking so he could breathe. God help. That's what the mayor said? That's what the mayor of, I want to say, is one of the states. That's interesting. Could be Mississippi, but. I tell you. I it's, tell you. It's a some situation, Some are bothered by it, some are not. Mm. It's terrible. It's mm. terrible. So pray for foreign, please, mm. and thanks. Yeah. Um, Eric Garner, everyone. Right?